Todd, you on Washington Road? You've gotten a little better, it might have gotten a little bit worse. This isn't Lynx Golf, this is just a mess. <laughs> we all know it, Dad. All right, Suzanne, you were telling me yesterday that you couldn't really remember a whole lot about the front side, but surely you remember the back side here. I think I was a bit more alive on the back line <laughs> when we played here. A few more stuff going on and uh, a bit more emotions into it, but um, we're here at the 18th tee and uh, crucial hole, par five, um, reachable if you had a good drive. It kind of sets up for a straight shot or a little leaking right shot, um, just from how it looks from the tee box. And uh, like I say, if you had a good drive, uh, it's reachable, so oh, I mean, it could be an eagle hole or hopefully, or at least a birdie hole. So, what's your target out there? What are you, what are you aiming toward? Uh, I would probably hit one of my standard shots, a little leaking, just straight leaking, a little right. So, is there a tent out there you're aiming for? First tent on the left. First tent. So now I wanted to ask you about the actual match. If you were five down with five to play, and you're battling back, can you take us through what you did on this hole and what you were feeling? Oh, uh, I was obviously one down with one to play. Mm -hmm. But somehow I had to win this hole. And uh, I think I did get her in two and I two putted for a birdie. And Michelle missed her birdie putt. And, uh, Everyone was going wild. I mean, teammates <laughs> running around. High five, you got a half. Which looked like a crucial point for the cup at that stage. Mm -hmm. Annika was behind me. It looked like she was going to get her point. So we were like right in the mix. And uh, they bring the microphone up a little bit too, too soon, probably. <laughs> my emotions were running wild. And uh, the words just dropped out of my mouth. And... Uh, that's where I dropped the famous F-bomb. <laughs> and you've never said it again since, have you? Straight to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course I've said it again. I mean, it's kind of my vocabulary, but I've kind of limited myself. I've learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. So not on camera, unless just accidentally. Accidentally. I try only in Norwegian now. <laughs> but f*** it, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. I was gonna say in Norwegian, but you just went ahead with English. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> so what will you hit in on your second shot here? Um, if I get up here, I'll probably have... I know if you hit about 270 off the tee, you got about 210 from. So I mean, you might not even hit a three wood if it's snowing. You might hit that hybrid. Mm -hmm. um, so heaven forbid should you miss the fairway. What are your options here? You gotta lay up. But I like a... Um, this week, the rough is not that penalizing. So, I mean, you can still get probably a good layup number mm -hmm. uh, with some luck in the with the lie. I mean, you're aiming for the fairway, and uh, it's possible to make a move here. You can make a bird or you can make an eagle. What kind of number do you think is it going to take to to win the Open this year? We discussed it. I mean, it's like the Open is like people are going to mess up. Mm -hmm. So it's almost just to. Kind of try to structure yourself, place the ball in the fairway, uh, take the birdies when you have a chance. And other than that, par is a great score in the open. So, what's your number? I would take uh, five under. Five under? Suzanne, thanks for returning to the scene with us here in the 18th green. So, when you win now, a few days from now, try to keep it family friendly, okay? I will. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Everyone's at church on Sunday. <laughs> Thanks, Suzanne.